Hello everyone, Dan here and welcome back to some more Binding of Isaac at the birth Plus, we got one more run to do as Isaac, in theory If it goes that well, it's just a normal run, just a normal hard mode run the Curse of the Labyrinth, nothing too shaky, know what I mean All we gotta do is have another run just like that last run Of which we just completely demolished the game And we'll be fine, I mean we didn't completely demolish it We had the tools to completely demolish it I just didn't make the decisions to demolish it completely. Then again, we never did get a battery, so we couldn't, we didn't have all the tools to demolish it, but we had 95% of the tools. Do I want chemical peel or do I reroll chemical peel? You know, this is a very situational um, damage upgrade sometimes. I think I'll just take the reroll, and now I kind of regret it. It makes me wish I went with um, chemical peel. Thing is, I don't think it's an actual statistical damage upgrade. I think it just gives you damage to the one eye, extra damage. I don't know how much extra damage, but sometimes you just shouldn't play with things you're given. And um, this room is probably going to get me damaged, or worse, make me going to run into an enemy that can't even see me, you know. Well, what the? Ew! It, make, it makes made me look like they're just trying to like puke on me or something. Oh, they stop to breathe because they're fat and can't run very far. That's very offensive. <laughs> hey, oh, you guys are doing all right today. <laughs> oh, I'm doing pretty good. D4. It's a little early for that, don't you think? I have no items, therefore I can't D4 into anything. However, what I can do is sacrifice the item pedestal to get a free cheap reroll. What I mean by free cheap reroll, we take little Loki over here, accept it into our life, go over here, use the D4, reroll our one item, little Loki, into something else. We get the uh, depression cloud, I think that's what that's called. Which, that's yeah, alright. I mean, it's, it's Aquarius and Holy Light put together into one. Except the holy light is very random, and I don't know what causes it, besides maybe a random chance while they're just walking on the on the trail of tears there. Probably shouldn't call it trail of tears, that's a little bit offensive to our, um, you know what, I'm just gonna stop talking. <laughs> but yeah, I'm doing pretty good. I'm trying to get this recordings caught up, basically. Today is ketchup day, that's all I got to say. What kind of ketchup? Well, there's only one type of ketchup, really. And I have a weird story with ketchup, so, you know. <clears throat> I'm not funny. I'm just trying to, you know, fill the dead space here. Pertha rune. Perfect. The Pertha rune is perfect for what I'm going to do on the rest of this floor. Provided we don't fight Bighorn or something stupid on this first floor bosses, we're going to have double rerolls for our boss fight. And that's always nice. As always, I'm still on that high from that Pong run, dude. I am still on that high. And that was last night is when I did that challenge. And I'm still on the high. It is amazing. I love it. And I'm still on the high of learning about Wii U emulation. Oh my god, dude. I mean, it might sound like it's not a big deal, but that is actually a huge deal. Because we can't buy Wii U's anymore. They're out of production. But then now Nintendo recently, you know, did their presentation on the Nintendo Switch. And I don't even know if I want that. I mean, I'm not going to lie. That new that new Zelda game looked pretty sick, dude. And I've never really missed a Zelda game. New release. Kind of. That's kind of a lie because I never really played Twilight Princess HD. But I have played Twilight Princess. It's not really a new game. But I definitely got um the last Zelda game when it first came out. What was it? Skyward Sword? Was, was there another one on Wii U that came out recently? I don't remember. I, I, I've lost my mind. I'm pretty sure it was Skyward Sword. I'm almost positive it was Skyward Sword. And I think that wasn't even on the Wii U. It was on the Wii. But I, I could be wrong. I, I definitely don't remember. My memory is kind of garbage. But whatever the last Zelda game was, I got it as soon as I heard of it. Or as soon as it was released. And it was amazing. 
And that Breath of the Wild game was pretty, pretty looks pretty sick. Not to mention the new Mario platformer that's like going to be Mario Galaxy esque. I am all for that genre, dude. Called Super Mario Odyssey or something. It looks. I mean, I, I can't tell how it looks because there's not really much game footage. Because there's a lot of like real life Mario kind of comes in a real world footage in there. But I, this is the same items from the from the last run. I think we we uh we roll them both. We trying to win, boys. We're not trying to get this little weak stuff. We roll. Tell you what, I like both of these. I like this, and I like this. Therefore, I took both. And then I re-rolled this. And then I questionably don't take that, but I kind of have to now because there's nothing else on the floor. We could D4 again, but why would I? I have Empty Vessel, Synthoil Pentagram. I I'm fine with this. This is fine. This is 100% fine. I wonder if Depression scales with our damage because Aquarius doesn't. Well, well, literally, if this doesn't scale with damage, then it just makes it another another Aquarius item that has a random holy light chance. You know? Then again, if we, had, if we had creep that scales with our damage, that'd be busted. Really. But yeah, man, I, I'm, I don't know. It really depends on the situation I'm in. Because before, I, I when I bought the Wii U, I really shouldn't have. I really wasn't in the financial um, situation to buy the Wii U, you know. I bought it before Christmas. But that was back when, you know, Walmart still gave us bonus. Uh, we got, like, bonus checks every now and again. Or not bonus check, a uh, vacation pay. Or not, damn it, not vacation pay. Holiday pay, that's what I'm looking for. You know, where we get paid double, double monies to work on a holiday. Yo, that shit came in handy. We don't get that anymore. See, that's an issue. That means I have less money around when it comes to holidays. It's, it's annoying. And the whole reason they did that is because they give us like this regenerating vacate, regeneration time off basically. And the way that works is for as long, I mean the longer you work with the company, the more hours, like time off hours you get back for as much time as you work. Like right now my ratio is for every 20 hours I work, I get one hour of time off. Wait, yeah that's right. For every 20 hours I work, I get one free hour that I can request time off. And to put that in perspective, you basically have to request 8 hours off to get a full day off. You know? Because eight, 8 hours is basically the work day there at Walmart. So to get a full day off, you gotta work 8 hours. Which means every 8 weeks I work, I get a, another day off. I mean, and they, they took that, they gave us that, and took away holiday pay. I don't think that, I don't think that's like, right, in my opinion. I don't think that is a good trade-off. I personally think we should have both, but, you know, of course I'm gonna have, the, I'm gonna go with the option that would give me more money, but... I don't think that's like, enough compensation to... to... to come to the agreement of like, just removing holiday pay because you're still making us work on days that where we should have be with our families aka thanksgiving all right i have a few scatters like oh mom's knife let's go i feel like we get that a lot lately no actually i wish this was an ultra hard run but this was ultra hard i wouldn't have had the d6 and i most definitely would not have lived but if I got Mom's Knife on the Ultra Hard Challenge, I, I'm fairly confident I would win. You hear that, Orange Jesus? Fairly confident I would win if I get Mom's Knife in the first item room on Ultra Hard. Not that I'm saying what you should do, because I can't really control what you do. And I'm not trying to say I'm the boss of you or anything, because I'm not. But I am a very devoted followee of you, Orange Jesus. Therefore... You know, I would not turn up my nose at, you know, you know, I'll take this because we have empty vessel. Um, I would not turn up my nose at a um, mom's knife in the first item room on the ultra hard challenge. And then you know what I would do then? I would take mom's knife and then I would not pick up any more items for the rest of the game unless they're in the boss room. 
because I would not want to risk soy milk or any shit happening to my mom's knife. Therefore, I would beat the whole game with purely mom's knife and nothing else. Is that possible? Hell yeah, it's possible. Have you seen this item? I don't know if you've heard of it. The damage is kind of stupid. Even on base damage, Mom's Knife, the damage is, is freaking stupid. We're gonna take this. We're gonna need bombs. I mean, it's nice to never have to worry about troll bombs, but... I think Mom's Pearl for the survivability is gonna help us out here. Now, I took Void, obviously. Why did I take Void? Because it's basically the same thing. Now we have a D6 in, in reserve, in addition to whatever other items we get. It's starting to look a lot like that last greedier mode route I just did, to be honest. But ain't nothing wrong with that, man. I don't control the game. I just absorbed Rotten Baby. I forgot it does that. See, that's the downside. <clears throat> Unless it's in a shop. If it's if it's on a pedestal and I reroll it and then I absorb it. You know what? Now I'm starting to think maybe the D6 on Void is a terrible idea. I mean, it works the same way with, um, with, like, pedestal, or, like, shop items, don't get me wrong, but with, like, with item rooms, if the first, if the first item's not good, and it's, like, a spacebar item, you can't reroll it, because you'll absorb it, or you'll absorb whatever you roll it into without being able to see it. I mean, you'll see it, but you won't get to do anything about it, clearly, and that's not good, so, um... Next time, I'm going to keep this in mind, D6 plus Void, not the ideal combination, to be honest. But, you know, what's done is done, pretty much. I'm going to go ahead and leave those batteries there for some rerolls. Fuck this boss room and everything it stands for. This triple ragman bullshit. Ruined my ultra hard run, man. Alright, see this, this right here. Wait, how would I leave if I didn't have a bomb? Yo, that's not fair. But luckily I have a bomb. Anyway, now. If I didn't have been able to fly either. So if I were to hit void, right? It's going to reroll it and then absorb it. So I guess I'll just absorb it. And we just absorbed HP for a speed upgrade. Is that, is that terrible? No, not really. Honestly, we could use the speed. And honestly, we have, we have our little mini synergy going on here. We have Empty Vessel, and we have Poison Touch. You know what that means? Every time Empty Vessel gives us invincibility, we go running into everything. There's also a library. Uh, BFS does nothing right now. L let's, let's hold up. Let's hold up. Don't do anything to that yet. Let's check what's in here. Alright. We use this. Put that down. Now every time we're gonna wait, we're gonna reroll then absorb, which also might not be good if we don't get any good books. So fuck it, we do it. Now Telepathy for Dummies and Anarchist Cookbook. No, what was that other book? It looked like Anarchist Cookbook, but I may have looked over it. I don't, I didn't see what book that was. Therefore, it's not important. This run is fucked in in the, the most weird way possible. Uh. I don't think I want any of it to be honest. I thought about it. BFS, you know, let's let's take BFS. The more I thought about BFS, the more I realized, you know what? In case we get an orbital later, which is probably extremely likely, you never know. Never really know. We didn't leave any items anywhere, we good. You never know when we can get an orbital. You never know when a cube of meat's gonna show up. A random side dagger could show up, you know. Gotta be prepared for these things. So, do we use our void when it's just free? Because I don't know what that last uh, book we absorbed was. I swear it was in Arcus Cookbook. I must not have been, though. Maybe it was Book of Secrets? Again, who knows? Let's find out, though. I don't... It was mag I mean, I know it was Telepathy for Dummies was the left one, but I don't know what the right one was. I legit just don't know. 
I won't question it. I'll just, you know, like I said, I'll just take it. No need to argue. Three dollar bill is terrible with this combination. Doctor's remote, terrible with this combination. Rainbow baby, not terrible, but not useful right now. That fly item, not useful right now. Dead bird, not useful right now. Anarchist cookbook. The book I thought I had absorbed is now there. And I also got 15 cents from my real machine. Wait, hang on a second. Why do all the item rooms have real machines in them now? Did I pick up something that does that? Did I unlock something that does that? Maybe not. Maybe I'm just overreacting. I might be overreacting. But I'm not absorbing Anarchist Cookbook for obvious reasons. It's it's just it's terrible. We get another two of spades. We're just done with keys on this run. Overloaded with keys. Probably shouldn't be taking pills anymore. Just in case, you know, we should probably use this once. Oh, it was how to jump. That's what it was. I didn't notice because I wasn't pushing a directional button while I was moving. <clears throat> um, while I was using the item. That's fine. We can get past that. I ain't even mad at that now. That's cool. But this runs over. Polydactyly. Do we even need to hold two trinkets? No. So I'm going to reroll it and probably absorb magic mushroom. We didn't even get to see what we absorbed, to be honest. Also, apparently there's a bug right now that if you exit the run and then re-enter it, you'll get rid of everything that Void has absorbed so far. Which, I mean, you would think would actually be good in this situation. I should do that. Therefore, I won't, I won't reroll everything anymore, but I also won't be able to... Um, well, actually, I just wouldn't be able to reroll anymore. Which already wouldn't be terrible, but I wouldn't have Book of Sin anymore either in there. Which is decent to have for any potential battery charges dropping so I can get double rerolls and then double absorbs. Really what we have here is just a um, a devil deal reroller, essentially. And a shop reroller. Item rooms are just fucked, really. Item rooms are just completely and utterly 100% fucked. Because there's nothing I can do about it. I want to reroll the item room too bad. Unless there's a reroll machine in there. We just S. O L. And in case you haven't heard, you know, the last 30 seconds of me saying I've been, you know, out of luck, and you don't know what S O L stands for, it means we are shit out of luck. Today's an uh, acronym lesson was brought to you by the letter day. Uh, damn it, day. The, the letter day. My freaking super country now. Come on. I know I live in Kentucky, but that was a little bit uncalled for. I don't I don't have an accent. Although a lot of times when I check out people at Walmart, they question whether I'm from here. Now when people ask that question, are you from here? Ooh, box of spiders is now in our combination. I'll take it for it. When you when someone says are you from here, I don't know what they mean by that. Do they mean are we are my from Kentucky? Am I from the city that I live in? You know, am I from the U.S.? You're not very specific when you ask that. Therefore, I just get confused when people ask that question. Blank card. Again. Isn't blank card only a four-room charge? Either way. Why the hell was I using void blank card last run when I should have just took blank card? I just realized that. I'm just t making the run longer for no reason. Uh... We might want to pick that up, though. In fact, I want to make the executive decision to uh, absorb blank card. I'm too lazy to restart the run, and I kind of like what we got going on here. So, you tell you what, I tell you what, I'm just gonna earn a charge, and I, I would told I would totally give this up, but I I have a plan for later. And it's probably going to be the most ridiculous plan ever. But what's going to happen is we're going to have... Well, I mean, that, that requires having a Yeah run. Wait, what is that? What is that golden crown thing? 
Hang on a second. What if I if I keep him alive? What does the crown do? Yo, for real, what does the crown do? I, I've seen a few enemies with that, but I, I don't know what that does. That's odd. We didn't get anything for killing him. As you think you would. So I don't know what that was for. Oh, also, we need to speed up, because we gotta get the hush on this run as well. So we gotta have to move it. I, I totally forgot. To get to the void, we gotta, we gotta get the hush. Unless we get lucky with the void portal showing up after mom. Which apparently can happen, so... Yeah. Alright, gonna go ahead and absorb the blank card. Reroll the Bible. Oh, wait! We rerolled blank card and absorbed it. Fuck! Yep. That's, what I, that's why I planned on exiting the game. That's what I was about to say to you just a while ago. I said, I'm gonna make the executive decision to exit the game so we don't reroll blank card. And what happens? You rerolled blank card. God damn it! It's okay. We don't. We didn't need it. We didn't need it. Well, we legit. We legit don't need it. You guys think I'm joking? We legit just don't need it. Book of Belial. We don't need it. Why walk into the fire? Because it got me out of here quicker, so I can look at boss rush and then decide that I'm not gonna do it because this is all garbage. Provided I actually had a charge, though, I could have absorbed four items right there for freezers and now that I think about it I probably should have did that I totally forgot about boss rush man my memory is just blanking out right now I missed some considerable stat bonuses right there but you know what that's okay we have mom knife it's the only stat bonus we need we have serpent no not serpent's kiss we have the virus I don't know why I thought we had serpent's kiss guess cuz I thought I was running into stuff so therefore they're poison, therefore it must be Serpent's Kiss, but no. The virus, which is basically just as good as Serpent's Kiss when you have some invincibility, just, you know, not as good. It's just as good, but not as good. That's English, right? Damn it. Of course you pop up. So, if you're wondering what my plan was, my plan was I was going to do the typical blank Cartier rune down to the... Oh, we, can, we don't even go to the chest. If we're doing the void run, so it doesn't even matter. You know, forget everything I was talking about. But I, my plan was to go down to the chest, blank card Yara rune everything. If we got a Yara rune at some point, which we wouldn't because we don't have rune bag. That was last run. Want to dupe so many chests that would be unbelievable. Pick up all the items that we don't have, and then absorb every single passive item that's left over. Or every single item that was left over. Period. Even if it was like, you know, 200 items. Just freaking absorb them all. For reasons. That would have been crazy, but not as good as I think it would be. It'd just be better if you just picked up all the passes and then had fun with it. Instead of absorbing all the passes and see how much damage you end up with on top. Especially with this run, I would just reroll all of them first and then absorb them, which would kind of suck. You fuckers! I didn't know you can even appear this late in the game! You're supposed to be on the depths, not down here. Get out of here. PJs? Honestly, we don't need them. We really don't need them. I'm gonna absorb them. Empress. We just absorbed the belly button as well. Which is fine. It's definitely fine. 100% fine. Also, randomly used the Empress card, and I got confused because I was like, "Why? Why did I use the Empress card?" And I realized, wait, blank cards in there, duh. Oh my god, the amount of money is insane right now. So much money. Not enough time. We're, we're, we we we've got this run in the bag, pretty much. It's a little, little bit of a weak mom's knife run, to be honest. We haven't really gotten any more damage upgrades since the whole you know, absorbing stupid shit like the D6 deal. Because I can't reroll boss items, which is where you get most of your damage upgrades. But, you know, we we haven't really rerolled over any, any uh, 
I haven't really reeled any over over in damage upgrades either. So I don't really feel too guilty about that. At all. There's no reason to either. No reason to. Oh, let me get this thing out. Hmm. Should I use blank card justice or blank card? Eh, you know what? Oh my god, that is so good. So we get double card effects with the Terra Cloth. I don't know what else it does. It says I see the future. I don't really know what potentially that could behold, but um I mean if you want to show me the future, like show me what boss is gonna be fighting before we go in or something. I mean I, that that obviously has a better effect earlier in the game. But you know what? I, I'm I'm dumb. I should just shut up. This is why I don't talk, okay? This is why I hate the sound of my own voice sometimes, too. It just, it just sounds terrible when I talk about ideas that I have, because then it just... It ends up being stupid ideas regardless. But, you know, things happen. Anyway, let's do this. Can we touch Mom's heart without taking damage? Okay, we can. Hey, we can skip! We can get the void portal, and we've already done hush on Isaac. Obviously, we don't. We would, wouldn't have a thousand one percent then. Down to the void. Apparently, that's a percentage chance of that to show up. I kind of, I'm kind of curious though if if having the void item kind of changes those chances. But then again, it didn't show up. Um, What's with these golden crown crown enemies, dude? They're showing up a lot more often now. Anyway, what was I saying? I don't remember what I was saying. Yep, I've forgotten. God damn it! My brain, my memory, so garbage. Oh, what the lamb? What up? All right, I didn't know the lamb was one of the bosses you could actually get for uh, down here, but I'll take it. We don't get to fight the lamb all too often. That's fine with me. Kill the fire. It's already dark down here, so. Gonna have you walk into my knife here. Nice telefrag. Almost. We get Mama Mega, which we might as well just pick up and use, because there's no reason to do anything else with it. Like, reroll it and absorb it. Skolex, your ads are dead. Oh, he's also already mostly dead. Bob's Curse, reroll. Wait, we just absorbed the belly button again. The hell? So I guess we D6 into the belly button and then freaking yeah, absorbed it again. Because apparently if you absorb an item, it can still show up later. Also, if you're very photosensitive to flashing lights and blah, 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 look away from the screen. It's kind of late to warn you about that, but you know, you can tell it's happening. So, it's happening. It is kind of disorientating to walk into every room and just have a flash like that. Hell, uh, it's bright even to me, and that's, and I don't really have any issues like that. But you know, where you saw this crap by now. Goodbye. Goodbye. You don't have to do any work anymore. Getting Mama Mega on this floor is like the best thing ever. Just takes away all the work for you. Never have to do anything ever again. And I even get some free ch free chances at a magic mushroom or something. You get to break all the free tinted rocks for free. All the free tinted rocks for free. That's kind of redundant, but whatever. You know what I meant. Now we're just trying to find Delirium's room here. That's all we gotta do. All we gotta do is find Mr. Delirium. 
I don't think his boss room is ever by someone else's boss room, so. Hello, Isaac. It's not to fight you, friend. Ow. It's my own fault. Getting too cocky with his knife, dude. And fighting Delirium with the knife is not gonna be easy. I'll just take the mark. Even though I thought I already. What the? The hell was that? Is he over here? Nope. I thought I even picked up the mark. Did I not? I swear I already picked up the mark on this run. Maybe that was last run too. Just absorb that that uh, HP upgrade there. Get that plus one damage. I swear I picked up the mark. I swear I did. This is delirium right here. Or it's not. Never mind. Forget what I just said. I don't know anything. Pills. You don't want those. Eh. No harm, no foul, though. It's not like it's not like we're in any fear or any danger or anything. Got Polaroid invincibility after every hit. We got random empty vessel invincibility, which will give us chances to spawn black cards. It's just we pretty much might as well just keep going till we find out the room. I've not been to secret rooms on this floor though. Oh. Hello? I've also heard apparently that one of the um, achievements is locked behind daily runs, so we're gonna have to bring those back again. We'll go ahead and pop our second Empress card too. Yeah, we got a substantially higher damage upgrade out of that second one. Empty vessel. I I actually don't understand this this guy sometimes. I know we're supposed to be beating all the different forms of bosses we fought. Oh, okay. Nah, that's fine. Oh, he has animations now. Since when? What, the lamb? Hello? Guess we haven't killed the mom for him yet. I feel like he really does take the form of every boss you fought. You fought in the game so far. Oh my god! That's a heart attack and a half! Dev reminds me of that Kirby boss then. They're supposed to be taking out every form. But it's annoying to dodge. Yeah, I kill your main form now? That's fine. Goodbye. Are you dead yet? Oh. He actually has a death? Yes, he has a death animation now. That was weird. That was very weird. I suggest not using Mom's Knife against Delirium. Unless you have a run like this where you're super defensive. We unlocked the D Infinity, by the way, according to the achievement. I've already seen this ending. The D Infinity. Which I have seen what it does. It's a quite in the interesting dice. We'll just have to see what happens when we find it. I hope you guys enjoyed the run today. If you did, please leave a like this happen a ton. And don't forget to subscribe to Gavin, because there'll always be more Let's Plays and Game videos every single day. So thank you for your time. Thank you for your support. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys next time with some more Isaac and some more videos. See you then.